going on? I am Crystal Alexander and welcome to my page. Today we're making a creamy Tuscan chicken in the slow cooker. Um, it's like my favorite kitchen appliance. <laughs> Especially right now, uh, normally this time of year I'd be doing a lot of grilling and barbecuing, but because of my foot, we're gonna wait until I'm able to get be a little bit more mobile. So we're gonna keep utilizing the slow cooker for a while. So we're gonna get right to it. Already in the slow cooker, I have about eight boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You can use any protein of choice. You can use chicken breasts. Um, I like the thighs, they just, they always turn out so perfect. Um, so I have those in there. We're gonna just dump everything in, except one ingredient that we'll add at the very end. Uh, and then we're gonna let it go on high just because of the time of day that it is. So if you are on live, please say hello. Let me know you're here. And if you catch the replay, please drop the word replay. Okay, first up, we're gonna do, <laughs> lost my train of thought, a third of a cup <laughs> of chicken broth. We're gonna pour that in and then we're gonna do the heavy whipping cream. Hello, 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 Laura, hi, Anne, hello, thank you guys for watching. So we're gonna do a cup of heavy whipping cream. I don't know if this is a full cup in here, but we'll be close enough. Yep, just enough. Okay, so let's just put everything to the side as we do it, because I'm just throwing everything into the slow cooker and we're gonna let it let it go. So next we're going to do garlic, which I'm probably just gonna finish off this garlic because it's almost done. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I actually already have this recipe pinned above for you guys, uh, written out, you can even print it out. Um, and then it's also in my group. So if you're not in my group, Drop the word group, I'll get you added. Just gonna kind of move everything around here. Okay. What else do we wanna do? We're going to do some pepper. Actually, let's do mushrooms. I'm doing mushrooms this time. Um, I took some of these out because Friday or Saturday, I'm gonna make a pizza bake and some of the mushrooms I want as topping. So not a full container. And you can omit these. Last time I made this live for you guys, I didn't have any mushrooms, so I didn't do it. So it's totally up to you. And then we have sun-dried tomatoes. I feel like anything with sun-dried tomatoes in it um, is the best. We're gonna dump this whole thing in. We're gonna do a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, some Parmesan cheese, and then I'm gonna walk you through the steps for when it's finished. I'm actually gonna turn this on high now while I'm thinking of it. Okay. Sprinkle that on top. And then um, I'm just gonna stir this up, but let's add the Parmesan cheese and some pepper first. Do you guys love sun-dried tomatoes too? If you do, can you put yes in the comments? I feel like anytime a recipe calls for that, I'm like, that's gonna be a winner. That is gonna be a winner. Okay, and then we're gonna do three quarters of a cup Parmesan cheese. Um, you can use grated Parmesan cheese. I just don't have enough today, so I'm gonna do just finely shredded instead. Yes, me too, Anne, they're so good. quarters of a cup, this is a half a cup, so I'm gonna do, eyeball that too. And we're gonna mix this all up and let it cook. And I'll walk you through the rest. I know, it's fine. Um, and I don't know if I said this, but if you're on live, can you guys say hello? Tell me where you're watching from. Uh, and if you do catch the replay, please drop the word replay. I don't remember if I said that when I got started. Um, now I'm just gonna mix all this up. You don't really have to. 
So that's what we're gonna do. Just to kind of evenly coat everything. Get that mixed in. Perfect. So let me show you guys. This is what is cooking. So I have that on high. Now what I'm gonna do, once this is ready, um, probably a couple hours, I'm gonna pull the chicken out, set it to the side. I'm gonna add an entire bag. This is about six ounces of spinach. I'm gonna put that right into the crock pot. I'm gonna stir it up, let it heat, probably just a couple of minutes until it all wilts. I'm gonna add the chicken back in. Dinner is ready. Now I will make a side. But this is this can be a one pot meal because you have your green veggie, you have protein, and you have a healthy fat, so you're good to go. Um, totally up to you. So what else? That's it. So that's how it will be finished. Um, I have it on high. I'm gonna do a couple hours. It doesn't take too long. Uh, but like I said, uh, the recipe is already pinned above. But if you want to be added to our group where that recipe is, my other recipes meal plans, grocery lists, um, mini cookbooks, drop the word group so that I can get you added. And last but not least, if you want to be notified when I am going live, simply tap this video right up here in the corner. You'll see three dots. Click those, click follow, or feel free to send me a friend request. And I almost forgot one more thing. If you share this out, please drop the word shared. I'm gonna do a giveaway at the end of the month for everyone who has shared out my video uh, as we transition to this new page. So if you share this out, drop the word shared. Uh, I really appreciate it. So, and if you tried this recipe, let me know. It is one of my favorites. So thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you and I hope you're having a great day.